hello everyone today i am going to explain about large sample in large sample test of significance of single proportion test of significance of single proportion now when we have to apply what is the test statistic how to take the null hypothesis how to take alternative hypothesis everything i am going to explain followed by we will do the problem test of significance of single proportion in large sample if x is the number of successes in independent trials with constantly p not of successes constantly p not capital p not of successes for each trial then now x is the number of successes in n independent trials n number of independent trials with constantly p not of successes for each trial then the test statistic is z is equal to x minus n p not by under root of n p not into q not z is equal to this is the test statistic uh, z is equal to x minus n p not by under root of under root of n small n into p not q not this is the test statistic now this is the this statistic can also be written as this we can write as z is equal to p minus p not small p minus p not by under root of p not q not by small n p not q not by n we can write this whole thing in this way where small p where what is p p is equal to where p is equal to x by n proportion of successes in a sample p small p is equal to capital x by n proportion of success in the sample capital p not is actual proportion uh, actual population proportion of success now we have to set the null hypothesis h not and alternative hypothesis h1 how to set null hypothesis let us set a null hypothesis h not p is equal to small p is equal to p not h1 alternative hypothesis h1 is equal to p is not equal to p is not equal to p is not equal to p not to tell it test h1 alternative hypothesis p is greater than p not write it tell it test h1 h1 p less than p not p small p less than p not left tail test like this you have to set null hypothesis if p is small p is equal to p not it is uh, 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 h not is uh, null hypothesis p is equal to p not this is a uh, uh, p is not equal to p not two tailed this is left right tail left tail find the table value we have to find the table value of uh, z at uh, alpha percentage of level of significance that may be 5 percentage level of significance or 1 percentage level of significance and make a conclusion by comparing calculated value and tabular value of z like this we have to compare the tabular value of z and calculated value of that frame depends on this one we have to make the conclusion the null hypothesis alternative hypothesis we have to take like this now the first problem we will see in this method first problem see the first problem first problem in a sample of 500 in a sample of 500 from a village 280 are found to be wheat eaters and the rest are rice eaters can we assume that both the food articles are equally popular can we assume that both the food articles are equally popular now here sample size is 500 n is greater than 30 therefore this is large sample and uh, here probability is given 280 are found to be wheat eaters the rest are rice eaters can we assume both food articles are equally equally popular like this we can identify the problem first of all the solution is let x number of wheat eaters x is equal to number of what is given to 280 are found to be wheat eaters let x be the number of wheat eaters proportion of wheat eaters is equal to p is equal to proportion of wheat eaters p is equal to x by n 280 by n n is equal to sample size n is equal to 500 p is equal to x by n 
proportion of wheat eaters is P is equal to x by n to 80 by 500 that is equal to 0 0.56. Now let us uh, P naught is equal to equally chances are there P naught uh, and uh, Q naught uh, 50 percent chances are there 1 by 2 P naught is equal to 1 by 2 Q naught is equal to can we assume both food articles are equally popular or not just pin let us assume that p naught is equal to 1 by 2 means 0 0.5 q naught is equal to 1 by 2 that is equal to 0.5 now we will set null hypothesis h naught is equal to p h naught is equal to p is equal to p naught uh, p is equal to 1 by 2 h1 is equal to p is not equal to 1 by 2 p is equal to 1 by 2 p is not equal to H1 alternative hypothesis P is not equal to 1 by 2. The st test statistics Z is equal to formula P minus P naught by under root of P naught Q naught by N. P naught Q naught by N. P is equal to small p is equal to 0 0.56 minus P naught is uh, 1 by 2 means 0 0.5 by under root of 0.5 into 0 0.5 by N 500. If you simplify that is equal to 2. Uh, 2.678. Now, if they give anything, you have to take that level of percentage all 5% or 1%. If they did not specify anything, defaultly you have to take 5% of LOS at 5% of level of significance. The table value of Z for two tail test is at 5% of level of significance for two tail test. The table value is 1.96. I have already given the values in the old videos. 5% of level of significance, the table value of Z for two tail test is 1.96. The calculated value of Z is greater than tabular value. Calculated value is 2.678, table value is 1.96 we have got. That's why calculated value is greater than table value. 2.67 is greater than 1.96. If you get greater than, what is the meaning of that? If you calculate is greater than table value, reject H0, reject null hypothesis. What is the meaning of that? Rejecting means we conclude that the food articles are not equally popular. We are rejecting. We assumed that P is equal to 0.5. P is equal to 0.5. Null hypothesis is equally, equally popular we assumed but it is rejected. That's why we conclude that the food articles are not equally popular. The second problem is the second next one. Number 2. A coin is tossed. A coin is tossed 400 times and it turns up head 216 times. It turns up head 216 times is the coin unbiased is the coin is unbiased is the question let x be the number of heads x is the number of heads a number of heads how many times we have got 216 times now proportion of heads p is equal to small p is equal to x by n 216 by 400 is equal to 0 0.54 now null hypothesis, null hypothesis H0 is equal to 0 0.1 by 2, H1 P is not equal to 1 by 2. In the same way equally chances are there, P is equal to, P is equal to 1 by 2, P is equal is not equal to 1 by 2, alternate null hypothesis, H1 is alternative hypothesis. Now P0 is equal to 1 by 2, Q0 is equal to 1 by 2 just like the previous problem, we are uh, assuming Equal, equally equally chances are there. Now the test statistics Z is equal to P minus P naught by under root of P naught Q naught by N that is equal to small p 0 0.54 minus P naught 0 0.5 by under root of 0 0.5 into 0.5 by 400. If you simplify using the calculator you will get 1.6. Now, now H1 is the tabular value at 5% of the tabular value at 5% of level of significance is 1.96. Tabular value at 5% of level of significance is 1.96. Calculated value is equal to 1.6. Tabular value is 1.96. Therefore, calculated value of Z is less than tabular value. That means 1.6 less than 1.96. Calculated, this is tabular. Therefore, we accept H0. Accepting H0 means the coin is the coin is unbiased. The coin is 
unbiased this is the answer like this you have to do the coin is unbiased thank you very much